intense. It is really busy today. It's Friday though. Friday's usually packed. I guess that's a good thing because it makes the time go by fast, you know? The busier we are, the more shit we gotta do. I love working in restaurants. Cause like, don't look at my tits. <laughs> no, I know I don't wear a bra. I don't believe in bras, okay? Bras make your titties sag. Cause it's holding them up. That is uh, tricking, tricking your body. I don't believe in tricking my body. I ain't, I ain't gonna trick my tits. Fuck that. But they don't need to be held up anyway. They can just chill. <laughs> but. Yeah, you know, working in restaurants taught me a lot about the way the world is. If we lived in a good country, we would force everybody to work at a restaurant. So then they would have an understanding into the way that people behave. And, uh... They probably wouldn't mistreat people ever again because they would know how, how it feels to get mistreated. That's why I don't take it personally if people don't like me or people misunderstand things I say. Cause this just happened so many fucking times that I'm used to it. So you know, spending nearly two decades working in a restaurant, you know, you you learn how to let let things roll off of you. You know? So when people told me to do YouTube, this is a vlogging channel, in case you didn't know. Vlogging is when you document your life, essentially, okay? Um, so, that's why I put this stuff online, because it's a documentary, okay? Check the method. This is a camcorder, okay? Anyway. Yeah, people told me to do it back in 2005. They were like, man, your life's interesting. It is interesting, but I, I, I wasn't confident then. I was not confident, I was really depressed, I was very self-destructive, I was an alcoholic, I was a slut, I did a lot of stuff that was wrong. Um, so the last thing I wanted to do was vlog about my life, you know? It wasn't until I'd lived, so YouTube came out in 2005, 
I guess I was 20. Um, fuck. YouTube is almost 20 years old, y'all. I'm almost 40. Holy shit. I'll be 39 this year. I'm actually really excited to turn 39. But, uh, yeah, I see a lot of people, like, um, putting out content and they don't really have much life experience. They're just talking about, like, a particular subject or something, which is fine, you know, whatever. I'm never going to knock anybody for making stuff even if I don't like it. Or I think maybe they should take some time to get to know themselves before they try to tell everybody what to do. I'm really not trying to tell people what to do. This is just me living my life, you know? But, you know, people will take it that way if they take offense to something that I believe in. Which is dumb, because you don't have to believe it. That's why I believe it. That's my job, to believe the things I believe, you know? But, uh, I could have never done comedy back in the day. I, I could have never um, done what I'm doing now back when they told me to do it. But the thing is, though, if I had started back then, I would, I definitely would be famous because there's way more of an appreciation for things like this. Because back then, YouTube was way more organic, you know? So that, that kind of proves that progress is wrong. Anytime that, that things progress, it just turns to shit, you know? That's, that's it. true of everything. Um... But, uh, when I was growing up, you know, I had to deal with a lot that I didn't understand, you know, so that's why I was open to medication and things like that. But you know, I just kept living my life. And I just kept you know, just living. Living every single day and and you know, talking to myself, talking to God. And it, it got me here. That sounds kind of boring, doesn't it? <laughs> just live your life, man. Just live your life. But seriously, like that, that really is like what you're supposed to do. You're just supposed to deal with it. But yeah, like I was having a bad day the other day and I just kind of accepted it. I was like, you're just feeling like shit, that's fine. You can feel like shit and then an hour later I felt better. You prolong the thing that you're trying to get away from, like trying to get away from it. You know, like the more you reject it, the more it insists on hanging around. So it's better to just accept that, that you're whatever you are. Like it's an uncomfortable feeling, right? That's what you're trying to get away from. Just accept the fact that it's uncomfortable and stop being such a fucking pansy. It ain't gonna kill you. Crying ain't gonna kill you. But yeah, don't do that shit in front of other people because they'll try to they'll try to put you somewhere. People aren't allowed to feel feelings. They gotta weaponize them, you know? So I don't think there's any issue with feeling things intensely as long as you don't manipulate other people.
women, that's really their only power. Because they don't understand themselves and they don't take it upon themselves to go, oh, wow, maybe this is my job to understand my experience. And so they really have no choice in their mind but to take advantage of situations and try to hold other people hostage because they, they're mad about something, they're uncomfortable, you know? Like, if, if people accepted just not being comfortable, well, all the pharmaceutical companies would go out of business.